y'all happy thursday happy quarantine all that good stuff um so today i am going to be purging my closet if you know me and you have seen my closet you know that this is long overdue i am doing a deep clean and purge to swap out some of my winter stuff get rid of some stuff that i'm not wearing um or i don't need to wear and you know just get ready for spring it's a perfect day to do so it is beautiful outside today or so it seems um i wouldn't know because you know <laughs> i'm in a house but um yeah so i'm gonna walk y'all through my process why i'm getting rid of certain things and then show you what my closet looks like after i have done the swap okay <music> First, I'm going to start with my like shoe accessory wall. It is a hot ass mess right now. So um, you're going to see me organize it as well as get rid of some stuff that I'm looking at already. Just like I ain't worn that in six years. So <laughs> we're just going to go for it. This is my this is my shoe wall as of right now. Oh my gosh, shut up. So my accessory wall has my shoes, handbags, um hats, jewelry and then um like my wigs and what i did so far i've just gotten through my shoes and my hats i'm gonna just kind of go step by step um but yeah i realize there's a lot of shoes that i like who are y'all looking for um i didn't realize that there was that many pairs of shoes that like i i'll be wearing I really don't be wearing my shoes like that like anybody that knows me knows that i've needed to get rid of stuff for a while and every time i do a closet a closet purge is difficult um but this is where we are with shoes shoes and bags so these are the shoes that i'm just putting away these are the fenty puma like creepers i have them in like this burgundy color i'm really trying to um can you see it I mean I haven't honestly I haven't worn them in a while you know what I'm gonna just put them in the <laughs> like I ain't worn them joints in like two years and even when I did wear them it was a force so <laughs> these are the pile of so this is just like a velvet dressy pump um a suede loafer that i don't really wear that much but they're good to have for like work but i don't really like the color for spring and then these over the knee flat boots um i would probably wear them in the spring but by the time we get out the house it's going to be um by the time we get out the house i'm probably not gonna be wearing them So, and I also have another pair of uh, black boots. But, yes, yeah, so I'm thinking I'm probably going to shift this down here and then just have it be boom, boom, boom. I'm going to reorganize this whole thing because there's a lot of space and I know that there's about to be more spaces because I'm already looking like, ooh, I'm going to get rid of this, this, and that. Um, okay, so these things over here are like so these are some boots that i that i got when i used to work at aldo um and i really i just don't wear them even though they look great with my green blazer so i might end up putting those back <laughs> these heels i haven't worn in like two years um these are some boots from aldo that I don't know, like something about the front, like the shape of my foot, I think is just a little bit wider in the front. And then these, I didn't even know these existed, but these are some platform 
boots that like they're cute and i would wear them these are from bakers that's how old they are um but i also have these which are leather and i wear the shit out of them and they're more uh they're they fit my foot better these are really cute but they're just like i realize that they're just not really my style um yeah so i don't wear them i think they're from steve madden yeah and then these boots i used to love the leather is like butter but i don't be wearing them actually i do be wearing them okay so what i'm <laughs> my bad okay so what i'm actually about to do is the two pairs of boots these and these i'm not gonna give up on them just yet because like and, and here's why because i i'm very familiar with my style and i know that i love a high boot with a very short like like a blazer or something and i just thought like the, gr the green boots go well with my jacket the brown boots go well with my jacket so that's kind of an outfit all together anyway and then my hats um this i just bought it because i was in aksi and got really excited i'm pretty sure i was drunk when i bought this so yeah um and then these are just some some hats that i just don't like particularly care for right now um so i was able to consolidate all of my hats to all my spring hats and then and then these are all of my like winter hats um don't mind my bed i was doing laundry and then i'm just putting my black purses away because these are these are like uh velvet this one's velvet i think this one might be suede whatever and then this was some dumb some dumb shit that i bought and meant to return because first of all it didn't have the dimensions on the thing yeah we not even gonna talk about this because like what I just have open space right now like it's just open space it makes me want to buy something even though that that is just like this is just the fucking ghetto but it's fine it's perfectly fine i guess i had i really had like a, a emo phase this is from my avril lavigne days i don't know why i still have her um but yeah not really too heavy of a purge as far as my accessories go i am getting rid of like my personality glasses because they don't even add personality like that i'm lying i'm gonna keep the um clear pair <laughs> we're making progress slow progress slow as hell progress but progress if you do this please make sure you eat in advance because at this point i've had a piece of toast with some cream cheese on it because i'm still on keto girl oh also another thing i lied about so these shoes are technically spring shoes i know i had them in the giveaway pile but what i'm gonna do is try to wear them this spring and if i don't wear them they're gone so i'm gonna give them a chance um right now what i'm about to do with my wall is just shuffle some things around because it's it's throwing me off and i feel like if my closet is not organized then I'm pretty much writing an essay from scratch with no outline. And I don't like that. I don't like that. enjoying the wall i got rid of another pair of shoes and decided to put one more pair away for um damn i'm close as it um so i got rid of another <laughs> i got rid of another pair of shoes and decided to put another pair away so these shoes here i'm sure everybody remembers this trend this is how long i keep stuff y'all like just so we're clear people ask me about wardrobe building all the time my wardrobe building has come over the process of years i've had these since i worked at urban outfitters which was like my sophomore year of college freshman into sophomore year look at how busted these are 
I'm 27. I've had these since 2012, 2011. Yeah, 2012. Throwing them out. Um, or I mean, I'll. I'm probably gonna throw those out. That's a little trifling. And then I just had a pair of mules. I just had a pair of mules that have like the fur on them. Um, I haven't worn them very much, but those are shuts, shoots, whoever. Um, and I just refuse to get rid of them. But I, I mean, I do wear them. Anyway, next. Pretty much done with my blazers what i did was um take out all of the black and like more militant looking ones so so like this plaid one that y'all have seen me wear a million times and then i have this black like with green buttons um another black with like more militant looking buttons um yeah so all those are going away like away away in a garment bag um and then I have these two that are they're more like neutral kind of year-round where I know personally I'll probably wear them year-round so I'm still just gonna put them in the closet just for aesthetic and then these two are black but I will wear them um I know a lot less this is how I organized them so I put my, it's my birthday blazer, but I put my patterns at the bottom and my solids at the top. Um, and I always do it light to dark for aesthetic because my room is pretty much like, this is the foundation of my room. So this is the final product for outside. So as far as my hanging dresses goes, I think I'm actually just being a little bit stubborn right now. Um, cause I ain't seen nothing I wanted to get rid of. <laughs> um, but I also don't own a lot of hanging dresses, so it could just be that. But I'm gonna move on to pants. Um, I didn't have any winter dresses either. But that's just, we'll get into my styling a little bit later. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna do pants and then I'm gonna do pants and then sweaters yeah, I'm just going to do everything that's in my closet. I'll walk everybody through everything. Okay, so the only thing's really in the... <laughs> This is my bed right now. This is, like, I am an organized, unorganized. Like, I'm an organized mess, basically. Um, yeah, there's a process for me. And um, this is probably more helpful for people that have, like, small closets. Um, this is how I maximize my closet. Yeah, so... This is what my closet looks like right now. So all of this stuff is pretty much like, this is like my year round stuff. Cause that's just how I shop. But then I have my, like my sweatshirts and sweaters are pretty much empty. And then sweatpants as well. These ain't even sweatpants, honestly. These are just like cool pants. Um, but yeah. And then this stuff honestly is just like, I'm not wearing this. I've tried and failed and really don't care no more. Um, and then this is my winter stuff. So I'm just going to put it away. Sweaters, like, you know, just really thick material, all that stuff. <sighs> I don't really, I'm not putting none of my jeans away. I see one dress. Actually, no, because, yeah. Why is this out here? <laughs> so much lingerie because first of all I can count on three fingers how many of the pieces I've been wearing but there's about seven with tags on them 
And also, why are they in the skirt area? Like, my lingerie was taking up all this space. My drawers ain't even that big. My winter pile has gotten crazy for shirts i got rid of like some of the more lingerie looking stuff and just like things that are uh, incredibly so like you know when you have stuff that's like aggressively cropped and like i love a crop top as you can see i always am in a crop top but i don't have the abs for some of the fashions that i've that i've tried to do or that I've purchased. And if I had you for three years and you still got a tag on you, I don't want you. Either I don't want you or you don't want me. But either way, this relationship is not getting too big. Um, and then for dresses, like because I don't wear dresses that often, I really just decided that if I have two dresses that look the same, I'm gonna just get rid of her because she's never gonna get worn. But this is great. Like, I'm very happy with it thus far. Now I just gotta get the rest of my stuff out. But I will be doing that later. You feel me? I ain't doing that right now. I'm gonna just bag all this stuff up and put my summer stuff, I mean my winter stuff, in a suitcase and a box and that stuff. So all of my, like, seasonal items go at the bottom of my closet down there so this is a box of like my summer summer stuff right now oh here it is this is the box of my summer summer stuff right now <laughs> summer summer um like the stuff you wear when you go on vacation so that might be in there until the end of april who knows we don't i don't know how i'm gonna act as soon as, as soon as they say we can go back outside i might be outside in that in a lace in a lace bodysuit head to toe with no draws on you know i just don't know so i hope this was helpful um if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and happy spring cleaning y'all do something while you quarantine sis um, make sure to follow me on Instagram at the Notorious Court and I will see y'all next week with two videos. Bye!